Well, good morning, El Paso, Las Cruces in the water. Let's take a look right now at these wind casts here for today. We're under that first alert due to the wind, so I'm going to get out of the way so you can actually see those numbers. Wind speeds will be about 20 to 25 mile power gusts here from the west to the southwest. Now, your peak wind gusts will be about 35 miles per hour. I know I'm harping on these winds, but it's going to be rocking today, so I want you guys ready. Your time of your peak gust, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m., so pretty much throughout the whole day after that afternoon into your morning. You know, the impact areas are going to be on the east side as that wind comes over the west side of the mountains and drops down into the east northeast so if in those areas be ready now your wind cast for today as you look about 10 a.m. you jumped up to almost 30 miles per hour, slowing down a little bit to 26. And then, like you say, it's going to kind of dissipate into about, oh, 9 p.m. ish, but it'll still jump back up around 10. So, like I said, these winds are going to be all over the place today. Be ready for them. Your temperatures right now outside El Paso, you're at 68. In Sierra Blanca, you're at 63. If you start heading up north, you're going to be in those mid to high 50s. Cloudcroft, you're the only oddball out there, but we'll take that cold air. I like it cold. Now your forecast highs here in El Paso, 84 in Anthony, 82 in Montana Vista. Fabens, you're at 80 as well. So you can see you're going to be in your mid to high 80s throughout the whole borderland area. Now your overcast lows for tonight, 56 there in Anthony, 63 in Fort Bliss. Fabens, you're at 51, so not too bad. It's not too chilly out there. If you're going to be outside, not too bad, I like it. Forecast highs there in Donia Anna. Again, a little bit hazy due to that desert area and the wind kicking up that dust. Be careful as you're driving out there. The visibility will go down. White Sands Yard, 83, 84 there in Sunland Park. Let's take a look at the lows tonight. There in the same area, Hatch, you're at 50 degrees. Messier, you're at 50 as well. 56 in Anthony. So again, not bad. Those mid 50s, high 50s. That's that's good sleeping weather that we can work with. Your wind speeds right now about 24 miles per hour here in the El Paso area. Sierra Blanca, you're at 21 as well. And then there's Guadalupe Pass. I talk about the places I have driven through there and felt those winds just toss you around. So be very careful, especially in those high profile vehicles if you're going to be out there. Your seven day highs. Now it's going to be warm due to this wind. It's going to kind of keep that warm stuff all over the area. It's not going to let it push out or go up into the atmosphere. It's going to kind of keep it caked down here, warming things up. So you're going to stay kind of high in these temperatures. 84 for tomorrow, 81 on Tuesday, dropping it a little bit on Wednesday. But as you can see, 80s pretty much throughout the rest of the week. So I mean, not bad. I like those 80s. It's just the wind that's going to be the problem. 35 for tomorrow, but 45 there on Tuesday. This is the guy that's really prompting that first alert. I think almost close to 50 mile power wind gusts too. So we'll have our eyes on that so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're going to be doing something today, dealing with those wind gusts, everyone's welcome. Picnic's going to be out there at Tom Mays Park. My buddy Russell Tanner is going to be throwing it. 10 a.m. You're looking at about 72 degrees as you start to show up. 1 p.m. as you're eating hot dogs and whatever else they got out there, maybe some hamburgers, 80 degrees. I do like food. Winds about 22 miles per hour. So you're going to be near that mountain. Be ready for those winds. 3 p.m. You're looking at about 83 degrees when things start to wrap up. Now let's jump into your seven-day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. As you can see, first alert all throughout the next few days. Monday at 84, drop it down to 61. Now getting out to the rest of your week, as you can see, Saturday and Sunday, not too bad. We'll be dealing with those 80s temperatures and nothing too bad. Drop it down to those 56, 58 overnight. That we can work with. That's all the time that I got. When we come back, a little bit more news, a little bit more weather. I'm thinking you should stay with us.